Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God. Amen. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. In the word of God, in the word of God, hallelujah. There is a great anointing in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow in the word of God, in the word of God, hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in love, today is your first time of coming across this video. My name is Mrs. Evangelist Egoma, where our base is Verona, Italy. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. A city called Verona in Italy. That is where I am resident for time like this, for this moment. This is where I am residing. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in law, here is a platform where we hear the word of God. Remember, the Bible says the word of God is always yea and amen. But before we go for the word of God, let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, eternal rock of ages, the omnipotent God, the omnipresent God, the omniscience God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, once again, your word is about to come. As many that are luckily turn right now, or maybe they are going to turn left later, it can be days, it can be weeks, it can be years. Father, let this world make manifest in their life. Father, let this world break every yoke out of their individual life. So that at the end, all the glory and adoration will be given to you, God Almighty. Every spirit of destruction, every spirit of devour, I silence them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I say once again, take all the glory, take all the adoration. For in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to deliberate on a subject I titled Restoration. Hallelujah, somebody restored. And uh, I would like to take you to the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25, which says, He will restore to you all the canker one, the caterpillar of eating, all you have lost from your time immemorial, from your generation, from your forefather. The Bible says he will restore them back to you. Are you a child of God? There is a song that says, Are you a child of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Are you a child of God? Hallelujah. 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 Beloved brothers and sisters, I came up with you this one word of exhortation because many said they have been praying. Yet God is not answering their prayer. Remember in Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24 says, As many that, he will, that we pray to him, he will answer them. So why is it that your answer is, your prayer is not being answered? All those, the canker one, the caterpillar of eating. I read it to your hearing that the book of Joel 2.25 says, He will restore them back to you. Hallelujah, somebody. So if you are looking out to God for something, you have not seen it. You have to look inward. Hallelujah, somebody. You are praying. Your prayer is not hitting the ceiling. Then you have to look inward. Your character, your way, your commitment toward the things of God. I'm not exempted. We have been praying our prayer. Many of our prayer is not being answered. Then we need to look inward. The way we are behaving. I'm always using this scripture in the book of Joshua chapter 1, 8. And it says, I quote, it says, Meditate on this word day and night. I repeat, meditate on this word day and night let this one word of god not depart from your mouth he said don't allow anything to distract you as apostle paul said in the book of philippians he said i fight towards the goal in order to restore those things that he has lost from his generation from time immemorial those things he's looking unto god for for those things to be given to him amen there is a vacuum there that is left open 
He wants a refinement, a restoration. So we need to pray. We need to not to be distracted. We need not to look at the word part of the world, worldly things. We need to focus on the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters, the word of God is always here. Amen. I said in Joshua 1, 8, if the word of God says, meditate on this word day and night. Never you allow this one word of God to depart from your mind so that all the days of your life you will be prosperous. Don't allow anything to distract you so that you will not be, you know, as you are focusing on the word of God, using it to live your daily life, you will not look at left or right. You don't allow anything to distract you. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Don't allow anything that will cause you, like I'm telling myself, anger, impatience, pride, all these things is not good. That All those things will make you not to achieve those goals that you are looking unto God for. Praise the Lord, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, this is one word of God that the Holy Spirit has put in me to come and tell somebody out there, are you a child of God? If you are a child of God, you need to meditate on the word of God 247. Don't allow it to depart from your mind. And as you do, you will see the glory of God. The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles 740, say, if my people who are called by my name, they live that their sinful nature, and they call on me there in heaven. He said he will hear us and he will answer our heart desire. Hallelujah, somebody. Today, many of us, we say we are child of God. We are big warmers. Our heart is far from serving God. We are using our lips. Anything I say, I'm not exempted. Hallelujah, somebody. So I'm here to come and encourage us once again. The word of God that will draw you closer to God, that will make you to remember whom you are, to remember all your errors, your mistakes. Hallelujah, this is the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Job, blessed are those that God is correcting. God is correcting you through one word of God, this word of God. We need to come back to our senses like the prodigal son did. He collected his share from the father. Father, give me my share. The Bible says he went to a very far place. He squandered all the money. But by the time he realized that he has squandered the money in that book of Luke 15, and he realizes that he was eating with the pig, none of his father servant could eat with the pig. He now realized his mistake. He came back to the father. And the father wore him a coat of many colors. He has set him back. It is not too late for you to say, Father, I'm sorry for every area that I've wronged you. You have to use the word of God to correct your mistakes. The character you are exhibiting, you are possessing, that is not of God. You have to realize through the word of God and do what the word of God says you should do. Hallelujah, somebody. The word of God is a mantle. And as you stick to it, the Bible says you will always come up with a testimony. Those things you are looking unto God for, they will be given to you. Those vacuum that is empty, they will be refilled, they will be restored. At the book of Joel 2, 25 says, Beloved brothers and sisters, are you a child of God? What is your stand in the land of God? How are you serving God? How are you living your life? Hallelujah, somebody. We must know all these things as a child of God. So that those vacuums that are empty, God will refill them for us. He says in Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2, Not that I'm deaf, or I'm not hearing you, or my hands are sure not to give you those things you are requesting for. He said, because of our iniquity, that is the reason why those things have not been yet given. Amen. We need to call on God of heaven. Amen, somebody. Jeremiah 30, 17 says, I will restore your head and heal you of that your wounds. I don't know what you are battling, what you are passing through, but the Bible says in Jeremiah 30, 17, it said it will restore those things and it will heal your wounds. Let us serve God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, somebody. So when we continue to serve God in spirit and in truth, we will see all those things. Amen. Let us know all these things as a child of God. This is a short message the Holy Spirit has put in me to come and tell somebody looking at me right now, watching me right now. Hallelujah. That you should give your life fully to Christ. Any character you are exhibiting that is causing you not to see the glory of God, let us do away with them so that we can see the glory of God. We can see those vacuums being filled again, being restored again, according to the word of God in Joel 2.25. Hallelujah, somebody. Let us know all these things as a child of God. We are full of nagging, complaining, but we are not interested to correct our way of living. We want to say, God will bless you more money you your account. No, to, we are so happy to listen to those churches that are preaching only prosperity. We are talking of salvation. 
Hallelujah, somebody. Serving God personal. He said that look unto heaven where my help coming from. Your help come from heaven. You need to know all these things as a child of God. I don't know the challenges you are passing through. I don't know. But I'm here to come and encourage you that if you serve God in spirit and in truth, those things that is dead in your life, they will come back to life. I don't know whether a thousand will fall at your right side, ten thousand on the other side. The Bible say, you will see them in one way, they will flee in many ways. We are talking of God Almighty. That says in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, verses 18 to 20, when he was ascending to heaven after resurrecting, he said, all power in heaven and earth belong to me. Are you talking on witchcraft? He has given you power in Matthew 10, verse 1, to trade over principalities and power, rulers of darkness. What is your problem? All power in heaven and earth belong to him. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, there is no any other name under heaven man can be saved apart from that name, Jesus. Are you a child of God? Those who are born of God, they overcome the world. If you are a child of God, it's hallelujah, you will be singing. I know you will see wars and rumors of war. You will not see yourself falling into the, the, the hole of the enemy. The Bible says in Proverbs 27, 17, as many that dig a pit for you, they will find themselves falling into this pit. Those pits, they dug. And in, also in Psalm 141, verse 10, he said, you will jump it and pass. The enemy will fall into their pit. We are talking of the, 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 the word of God. King David says in the Bible, he said, I am not old. Ever since I was young till now, I have never seen a true righteous man being forsaken. That is the word of God in 1 John 4, 4. Those who are born of God, they overcome the world. What is that ugly situation in your front? That mountain, that one word of God will move the mountain. Hallelujah, somebody. I remember one time the enemy wanted me to sign a check. I spat on them, I slapped them. And I was so good, it's like I was walking on the air, like an invisible person. Of a sudden, it was in Africa. Two buildings, they collided. And I, so I was... Pray as Pastor Chris said, I use that example. As I get to the, 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 the blocks of those fences, they open, the building parted, and I walk over. Beloved brothers and sisters, that your ugly situation is not too difficult for my God to handle. It is because of our iniquity, our way of living. We are not hearing from God. I'm not exempted. We are not seeing the answer. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, this is one word of God that God has used me through the power of the Holy Ghost to come and use to encourage you more, to remind you of whom you are. Hallelujah, somebody. To remind you of whom you are. And as you stick to the word, I am repeating, if you stick to the word, you will always come out with a testimony. He is the God of today, today tomorrow, and forever. Of yesterday, today, and forever, I beg your pardon. As you seek him, you will find him. It is because you are seeking him with a wrong motive. You are seeking him with negative characters. In the book of Galatians chapter 5, from verse 16, the Bible says the worldly character ways of living and the spirit way of living, he said they are different. Hallelujah. Remember when Samson was with Delilah, Delilah, he was born as a Nazareth, but he began to do those things that he's thinking, that is not of God, his character. The Bible says in the book of Judges, that is it not Judges 16, 19 to 20 or so, that the power of God left something. The glory of God was not seen in him. The, the spirit of God left something. That was the reason why those Amorite kings, they have an opportunity to remove his eye. He becomes blind. Many of us today, we are walking cops. We are calling with a wrong motive. We are calling God with a negative way of living, with a stinking character. Hallelujah. I remember one time years ago, I was in the dream. I saw myself like a stadium. People were on suit. I was in a tata club. They just pushed me out. I woke up. I said, Father, have mercy on me. This is a dirty character that I'm aboring. I began to check around what I'm doing so that I can desist from them. People were dressed on suit, on gown, fine dresses. Makeup, they were all clean. Thousands of people, like a stadium. A very big hall. I, I walked inside and I saw myself dirty. They just pushed me out. Did you see it? It doesn't mean I'm preaching that I don't have a bad character. But we need to know when you are falling, according to the book of Revelation, falling is not the problem. Realizing you are falling and you come back to your feet, like the prodigal son did. And the father embraced him and went on, pulled his coat of many colors and wore the stone and threw a party for him. God is waiting for you. I don't know whom you are, where you are listening from. One word of God, as you stick to it and begin to apply it, you will see the glory of God. Those things that have lost 
they will be restored. Yoke will be broken, Isaiah 20, 27. Because you have come back to God, you are, you are using his words to live your life. The anointing will be flowing. Then you will see the glory of God. Every yoke thing that will be causing a leakage in your pocket by sliding, they will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved brothers and sisters, I think I have to draw the curtain here. I want you to rewind this video clip. If you see it in your WhatsApp, wherever you see it in your Facebook, TikTok, wherever you see it, I want you to subscribe. I want you to help me to like, share, and you will see the glory of God. Then you are still doing the work of an evangelist because you are sharing to other people. As they hear the word of God, many of them will be transformed. They will change their way of living. Except for those who doesn't know want to listen, according to the book of John chapter 17, when Jesus told God that I've finished all my mission here, they have, your children have so have been one, except those who does not want to listen. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, please don't leave me, help me to share as I initially said. And as you do, subscribe if you have not done so. God will continue to bless you. Until I come your way, Next time, I say I soak you with the blood. I pray that the heaven hand will be upon you. I pray that the spirit of God will continue to overwhelm you and your environment. Every unclean thing I command it to be watched, flush out of your life, out of inside and outside of you, with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Bye bye. Until I see you next time, keep on bouncing the Lord. For in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Shalom.